What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another vlog. Today, I decided to hit you with a car review of a Scat Pack. Bam! Look at Kansas City, man. It's not like, I'm not looking at a beach or anything, but this is like the best model. And pretty dope scene to take, you know, uh, take pictures with. Of course, I'm trying to keep the car pictures coming at you. Iconic photography, my guy Eddie Burnett. At it again, he even got little Eddie. That's little Eddie, little Harlem. I hope Harlem don't drop that camera though, because that looked like an expensive lens, and that could be really bad if Harlem drops it. No, but seriously, no. hey man, this car, I love it. I wouldn't classify it as my dream car, but it's definitely so far my favorite vehicle that I've had. Now, if my wife decides for next Father's Day that she wants to get me uh, the uh, Rolls Royce Ghost, I'm not gonna say no. If she should decide to do that. Please, 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 please. Uh, but no, man, we're gonna do a quick review today uh, of the other scat pack. Uh, it, it's two two things that I don't care for. Like what? What? The rest of it I love. I'm gonna point out some things I love about the vehicle. Uh, quick story though. Some years back, it's been so long ago. I used to have a base model Charger. Loved it. My wife remembers that car. I shouldn't have said it like that. That sounds weird. But no, we were dating like when I had that car. I had black rims on it. That was the first car that I was able to get and went to the dealership with uh, with man very close to me, uh, Deacon George Fields. But now he sat with me, kind of taught me the game of negotiating all of that. Long story short, ended up getting uh, that Charger. Loved it. Saw the movie Street Kings with Keanu Reeves in it, and they had a bad SRT in there. Dwayne may even throw some B-roll or some footage of that so you can see what I'm talking about. He got in the car, he was pulling up, they heard the sounds of it. It was just like, I was like, that's the charger I want. One holiday, back home, working for a little while, out of college, getting a little bit of money in. Was like, man, I wanna go try to get this vehicle. Met with the salesman. Thought I had the deal worked out, transferring everything over to the SRT. Like, it had the scoop, you know, all that, you know what I mean? It was just like, it was a legit vehicle. Transferred everything over. They came back to me, it's like, sorry, man. Deal's not gonna work. You don't make enough money, so forth and so on. So my pride was hurt because I didn't transfer the tags over. I mean, I thought I'm seeing myself driving in and going back home, like, yo, telling my brothers, look what, look what I got. Just didn't work out. Fast forward to all these years later, but no problem, I'm able to get me a scat pack. So again, I wouldn't call it my dream car, but for a lot of reasons, it's one of the favorite vehicles I've owned. Uh, so I like it. I'm not a materialistic guy, but it's good when you can do things that you love and get things that you like. Uh, so I love the vehicle, man. So again, these pictures are gonna come out dope. Follow me on socials if you're not on this video. Like it, comment, man. Uh, love engaging with you all uh, in the comments, especially with the car content. I don't claim to be like a car guy, like to know all the details, ins and out, but I do love vehicles. So uh, all I do is like research, watch things about vehicles, and I love the 392. Yeah, I did debadge it, so 392 is not showing up on the side, uh, but that's just what I do with my vehicles. I debadge all of them. So the first thing before we even do the review that I don't like, but I knew this going into it because of doing my research, gas is horrible. Like, it is horrible. I fill up all the time in this vehicle, especially because I commute a long way uh, to work. Uh, my drive, um, as far as timing, uh, it takes me about 35 minutes uh, one way to get to the work. Uh, so you think about round trip, that's about an hour every day that I'm commuting, well, more than an hour uh, that I'm commuting uh, to work. So is what it is. It drinks gas. Going into it, I already knew that I plan on getting a second vehicle. 
um, market is still crazy. Uh, I am not going to buy a used vehicle because it is a much better deal if you can to get into a new vehicle. Uh, for instance, I am uh, just got an allocation for a Honda Civic hatchback sport. Uh, so more of a compact, <laughs> of course, drastically different from this uh, but that's going to be the commuter vehicle so I'm going to be adding that to the channel uh, it's going to be fun to do some content with that of course it's going to be different type of content uh, but yet and still still a really nice looking vehicle and I like it uh, and you know from the Honda Accord I just like Honda I mean it's, they sold me so uh, I probably will always have myself into a Honda uh, but yo let's get into the review Gas is horrible, that's the first thing. We're gonna talk about the room in the back. I'm gonna show you that. It's just not the greatest. But let's do it. before we do the review, see the footwork, I'm about to do some, ah, uh, ah. Uh, what, Jack on the, what, nah. Can't touch this. Uh, I'm sorry, that was random. Let's do this review. Review, let's take it to the business in the front. 15% on the windshield. Like I've told you before, if it's your first time, watching with this video or new to my channel make sure you go back and watch the delivery uh video uh me taking it straight from the dealership to my guy at warriors tinting hopefully you can hear me we're underneath whatever we underneath uh but uh taking it straight to warriors tinting, getting the tin on it uh so 50 percent ceramic tint on the front you can see you can't see anything inside the vehicle uh but i love the wide body man this looks so aggressive and it's like an immediate, immediate head turner. I mean, I had like a family just roll around and some uh, bicycles that gave me a thumbs up. Had a guy, I mean, it turns heads and I like that. I mean, not gonna lie, it turns heads. So, uh, front end, extremely aggressive. Uh, I just love the look of it. Um, reminds me of, which my nephew said I should call it this, but it reminds me of Dark Vader, honestly, like the whole shiny black helmet thing, whatever. Just love the front end of the vehicle. So, love the aggressive look, um, the grill. I really don't care that it doesn't have uh, floodlights because I think for the front of it, I kind of like it better without, to be quite honest with you. So, all right, now we can catch the side pro valve. We see that it is equipped. Actually, let's get close up on these brakes here so you can appreciate the Rimbro brakes. You know, this was optioned out. I decided to get the red. Remember, I was thinking about uh, getting some different rims. Looked at some Forgiatos because I wanted the deep dish lip. Looked at 24s. It's like, now nah, you might want to get 22s. 24s, the tire would be too thin. But honestly, guys, I really like the stock and the way the stock looks. Kind of in love with that. So we made that, leave that here for a while. I'll tell you one thing I am going to do in the review is we're going to get this bad boy lowered just a little bit so I can close that gap right there so we will get the board especially when the uh especially when the honda comes in uh, and i won't be driving this every day like i am now uh, i'm gonna do a lot of modifications to it and again i'm all about appearance modifications not necessarily um performance mods just yet uh, but we'll do that so here of the lines here that kind of continue which is kind of keep going and again you can't beat you can't beat the wide body man it's just I mean, if you look at that profile, it's just so aggressive. So let's come to the back of it. I told you I debashed it already. So we'll be tending the tail lights all the way out. Again, I took the charger off, took the dodge off, left this emblem there to be. Uh, you can see it's 5% all the way around. So nice looking vehicle. Let me show you inside a little bit. Uh, let's see the business what's going on inside the vehicle. Start here, Alcatara seats, love it. I chose to go with the all black package instead of the black and red. I just like the way it looks better. And I'm an all black guy. I just love all black. I'm so glad I went with the sunroof, uh, especially <laughs> since I put so much dark tint uh, on my vehicles. Uh, but sunroof is just a great addition on a beautiful day like this in Kansas City. I mean, you want your sunroof to be open, uh, even though you can see me sweating right now. Uh, Inside is basic. I mean, <laughs> inside of Dodge kept these vehicles pretty, pretty basic. You're not gonna get a lot of jazz or all that on the inside. And of course, if you're buying this vehicle, you're buying it for performance. 
uh, the, the feel of it, you're not buying it for the luxury of the inside. Uh, but these seats, I will give the seats are really comfortable uh, on the inside. So not much to show here. I'm not endorsed by them, but man, this is some good drinks right here, man. If I can get endorsed just to get like free drink from them, like this stuff is like legit. But anyway, car is pretty clean. See the baby seat stuff in the back. But let me show you what I'm talking about in the back seat. Like I am 6'1". Uh, for reference, this is about my driving uh, position right here. I'm not like all far back, uh, kind of comfortable, but you see what I'm talking about in the back seat. So let's jump back here. So you can see from my back seating position right there, you can already tell that it's not a lot of room. And then you can see I got, that's Harper's little station over there. Don't make fun of my towel. That's just how I like to do it. I know there's stuff that you can buy that looks a lot better to put underneath baby seats, but hey, you see how even how close the back seat is. <laughs> Uh, to her baby seat. But I'm gonna get in and kind of show you uh, what type of leg room it's like for somebody my size, 6'1". Um, I think that's one of the, I talked about the gas, but my second knock would just be the inside room. Like my Honda Accord that I had, um, had way more, way more room. So we can see from the back, man. See, I'm struggling. I cannot, like, I cannot put uh, my leg straight. And I, I don't consider myself sitting that far back. Uh, so I would have to have my knees, and you can imagine if I was to close the door, that would be banging my knees. So that's one of my knocks about the back, man. It's just not a lot of room, but honestly, the only person I'm toting around is my daughter. Uh, so that's not a problem, and my wife in the front, so not a big issue uh, for me. But one of the things to consider, not a lot of room in the back. So. Yeah. So, hey, quick little review of the car. Uh, was it? Extremely detailed, but it was a, the view of an owner, like somebody that's had it for a month. Um, I'll kind of keep you updated. Things I like and things I don't like. I doubt that there will be very many things other than the two that I mentioned, uh, gas and the room in the back seat uh, that I don't like about the vehicle. Everything else I completely, completely love. Look forward to let you see some modifications that we're gonna do, appearances. I think you're gonna like it. I know I'm gonna like it, so that's all that's important. But no, we'll do some things to it. Uh, but I'm gonna close out. But before I close out, uh, again, subscribe to the channel, get more content. Uh, it's gonna be some fun photos that we're doing. Just beautiful scenery, man. It's pretty dope for a car shoot. Uh, so follow socials to get all those Facebook, Instagram. And before I close out, let's hit some B roll and listen to this 392. Oh,